Um, so, my name is Georg, I tell you about Trovo, which is um, a project about web shortcuts that are social and come with privacy. Next slide, please. So, this is the main screen. Um, we can type in things like yeah, YT Kitten, next slide, and it brings us to the YouTube results page for kittens. Next slide. We can type in GFL Sin, KUL, next slide, and it takes us to the Google flight search for flights from Singapore to Kuala Lumpur, next slide. We can type in FR3, which is French dictionary, next slide. It takes us to the French English dictionary about the translation for tree, next slide. So as you see, it's a project similar to the DuckDuckGo Banks or the Yapnap service or uh, Search Shilo or Find Find It, and also the browser has sometimes inside the search of functionality, next slide. What is different? So, Difference is that we have multiple arguments, right? We can type in something like JFL, SIN, KUL, or even three arguments, like the second example would search for flights on March 24th. Or we can even, like this, th these arguments can be typed. So we can also, instead of a date, we can type an MO and it, it will map um, to the next Monday. Next slide. Uh, another difference is the French dictionary. So we have namespaces and variables. Now the problem is when we search for a dictionary, do we want the French English or French German or French Polish? Depends on the language we speak, right? So this is why in Trobo we have namespaces. So the same shortcut can be used in different namespaces. I as a user can subscribe to a namespace and then I get the shortcuts for my language and for my country. And there are even uh, also namespaces for, my, for every user. Next slide. The most biggest difference uh, trader is privacy. Trovo comes to full privacy because all the processing is done within the client. So no search query is sent to the Trovo server. Next slide. So let's look at how this uh, happens behind the scenes. We have uh, a user typed in that uh, typed in GFL SAN comma KOL. Next slide. It will it, it, it gets parsed into keyword GFL and the arguments SAN cool. So from that follows we have two arguments. Next slide. Then a fetch is made to this uh, URL on uh, GitHub in the Trovo data repository. We look if we have a file slash gfl slash to yaml. Next slide. If we have such a file, it has yaml data. The most important line is the first one, the URL line. Next slide. So we see this is the URL line with placeholders. Um, and we have a from placeholder, a to placeholder with some uh, also transformation happening. Next slide. So this is translated into sankol, uppercase. Next slide. And the user is taken to their uh, results page. Next slide. So, of course, it's a bit more complex. We have namespaces, we have different fetches, uh, more fetches than, uh, than only one, and we have also personal shortcuts. So your GitHub repo can be a namespace, and you can subscribe to other people's namespaces. Next slide. Um, so this is the code structure. We have a GitHub organization slash Trovo, and there is Trovo data that only contains the data, only the YAML files. We have the uh, web interface in Trovo minus, minus web, and there's a template Trovo data user that you can fork and then create um, names as shortcuts within your repo, as I said, and also it has a config YAML file so you can adjust it to your needs. So as you see, it's all decoupled. This is why it's not just a project where you like, I drop some export data that you can use, or some API nodes, the ecosystem, like it's, um, uh, it's for multiple usage uh, designed first. Next slide. So how can you contribute? You can add some data. Now it's much Germany focused because I'm from Germany, so you can add shortcuts for your language, for your country. Dictionaries are missing. You can also add uh, shortcuts to documentations about your, uh, your favorite pro programming API and so on. Next slide. We can also help uh, to improve the front end. So right now it's made in Bootstrap 4 and pure JavaScript. So there can be, there's multiple options to make it in Vue or React and so on. Next slide. Uh, and you can also create new front ends. So you only need to interact with Trovo data. It's all YAML files. It has a Git. It's on Git, so you can uh, pull it regularly. We can set up a rep hook for you, so you are always up to date with the data. And then you're fully free in your favorite programming uh, environment. So iOS, uh, Android, browser plugins, and so on. Next slide. So this is the last shortcut I invoke: QR minus uh, QR Trovo net. And this is the page you can look up for more. Thank you. Very cool. Thank you very much. Uh,